We pull in? Hey, I'm Zax, and this is Razageth, the last boss of the raid. There wasn't actually any beta testing for this boss, so we can't make a full guide for it yet, but here's a little run through for you in the meantime. Just keep in mind that some of this is really our best guess. This fight is a doozy. There's basically five phases that are all pretty different. So first thing you need to know for phase one is that everyone should talent into an interrupt because it's gonna make the most important mechanic in the phase way easier. The boss occasionally puts circles on everyone in the raid, which you need to spread for, and then a caster ad spawns at every single player's location. All of these ads need to be kicked or dispelled before their cast goes off or else you're dead. Kicking or dispelling the ad instantly kills it, so either one works, but on heroic it takes two dispels to kill the ad, so interrupts are a little bit more efficient there. If you can do this mechanic right, phase one should be a breeze. The other mechanics in the phase are pretty simple. When a random player gets the static charge debuff, they need to run it far away from the raid before it explodes. At full energy, the boss channels a big pushback away from her, so tank her toward an edge of the platform and don't get pushed off. Dodge the random frontal and swirlies on the ground, and tanks taunt swap every time she casts electrified jaws, a big hit with a damage taken debuff. When the boss hits 70% health, she flies away and starts the first intermission, spawning adds on these two side platforms. So the raid needs to split in half to go deal with each side at the same time. You pretty much just nuke them all down, but try to focus on the ruiners first because they buff the other adds, and then chain interrupt and focus down the acolytes because they get a huge haste buff whenever they're low on health. Also, dodge the lightning breath from the boss as she flies over each platform. Then in phase 2, you fight the boss again on this other platform. The most important thing you have to do in this phase is quickly break a massive absorb shield the boss gets at full energy, or else you're dead. While the shield is active, everyone in the raid gets a positive or negative charge debuff, which gives you triple damage and healing if you're stacked with someone that has the same charge, but does real bad stuff if you're stacked with someone with the opposite charge. So it's kinda like Thaddeus in Nax, but you only need to be stacked with one person to get the full buff. I'm assuming there's no grace period on these either, so spread out beforehand and then stack with anyone that has the same charge while avoiding people with the other charge. The other mechanic that's kind of weird in this phase is the fulminating charge debuff. It's a massive circle that goes on a random player, slows them by a ton, explodes on anyone in the circle when it expires, jumps to the nearest player in the circle, and then repeats all that with a smaller circle. The person with this debuff needs to run as far away from the raid as possible with a ranged partner, while everyone else moves the opposite direction. Everyone gets hit by the huge first circle and it jumps to the ranged partner, then the first person goes back to the boss and a new ranged partner moves out to the debuffed player, and repeat until the circle is small enough that everyone in the raid can avoid it and it fizzles out. The other mechanics in this phase are pretty simple. Interrupt or dispel the same ads from phase 1, run through the expanding ring on the ground from the boss to reduce the damage it does to you, and tank swap the same way as phase 1. After a while, the boss flies away again and starts the second intermission, spawning different ads to deal with. Not sure where these spawn or if you have to split the raid again, but these storm fiend ads aren't too crazy. They occasionally teleport somewhere and leave a bunch of little ads behind that try to run back to the storm fiend. Slow and kill these ads to prevent them from getting to the storm fiend and healing it. Also, dodge the occasional lightning orbs that come out from the storm fiends. And on Heroic, try to kill the Storm Fiends around the same time, because they buff each other when they die. Once they're dead, the boss lands on the central platform and starts the final phase. A ring of damaging storms slowly creeps in from the outside of the platform, so you have less and less space to work with over time. You have to deal with the big circle debuff from Phase 2, the expanding storm ring from Phase 2, and the random lightning breath from Phase 1. But the tank mechanic is a lot different now. The boss occasionally channels a beam on the tank that does a lot of magic damage to anyone it hits, and then a couple seconds later anyone hit by the beam explodes on the raid for a massive amount of damage. And this damage can only be reduced by the tank mitigating the damage from the channel. So the tank needs to face the boss away from the raid and use a big defensive that works for magic damage right before the channel. And the tanks also need to taunt swap after every cast because of a vulnerability debuff it leaves. And finally, on Heroic, a random player occasionally gets the Magnetic Charge debuff, which explodes for fall-off damage when it expires and pulls everyone in the raid to them. So, of course, they need to run that far away from the raid. And that's pretty much it. Here's a quick recap of the fight for you. By the way, our Patreon supporters get our guides early, so if you're interested in that, check out the link below. Shout out to them for even making these guides possible. See you next time.